Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Hotspot with Love and Favor, your ultimate destination for the juiciest gossip, exclusive movie insights, and the latest celebrity updates. Love it here, guys, and please, if this is your first time of tuning in, kindly subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button. In today's episode, guys, I will be serving you all a royal story. So chill, get your popcorn, relax, and enjoy. Prince Dozier had recently arrived back from the United States to lay his father, the king, to rest and assume the throne of his father's palace. He was the only son among three siblings, his sisters being the two princesses of Induba Kingdom, the largest kingdom in the community. Following the burial, the coronation of a new king was imperative, with Dozier being the rightful crown prince. However, a significant obstacle arose. He was unmarried, and a prerequisite for ascension to the throne is marriage. Despite being eloquent and fluent in the local language, Dozier faced the requirement of marrying within the community. He was granted a two-month ultimatum to select his bride. Failure to do so would result in the kingship passing to the next family in the royal lineage. Dozier found himself without a suitable match as none of the local girls in the village captured his interest. Despite the introductions by his sisters, the princesses, to some affluent acquaintances from wealthy families within the community, none of them appealed to him either due to their arrogance or simply a lack of connection. Dozier couldn't find a potential bride among them. The princesses grew increasingly impatient with Dozier's indecision. Realizing that they couldn't risk losing the throne to another family, they devised a plan to organize an event where all the village maidens would showcase themselves through dance and display, allowing Dozier to choose a bride. With only one month remaining, time was running out and urgency prevailed. Dozier embraced the idea enthusiastically, adding a twist. Each maiden would also have the opportunity to speak, as he believed that to be the basis of his decision. Every maiden would need to persuade him of the the reasons he should choose them as his bride. He emphasized that he wouldn't choose a wife solely based on dancing ability or physical beauty. Instead, he sought a wife of substance. The sisters applauded his decision, deeming it brilliant. A date was promptly set and word of the event quickly spread throughout the village, prompting all the ladies to make preparations for the grand ceremony where Prince Dozier would select his bride. Dozier was regarded as the ideal match by every girl in the village. The following two weeks kept the ladies in the village busy as they went shopping for fashion items to enhance their appearance and make them stand out. As the D-Day drew near, the palace was filled with anticipation with all the maidens and palace guards putting things in place and getting ready for the day. The day drew near and the palace was filled with guests who took to their seats in anticipation. The display commenced with each lady stepping forward to dance and present her case to the prince, explaining why she deserved to be his chosen bride. As each lady approached, the princesses seated on each side of the prince inquired if he was persuaded by each one, to which he shook his head in disapproval. Twenty maidens have presented themselves and none has captured your interest. There is only one left. Let's hope she'll be the one. The princesses remarked. The final lady made her presentation, yet the prince remained unimpressed. The princesses grew frustrated. Just as they were about considering concluding the event, a young, stunning, dark-skinned lady approached them to deliver the beaded materials they had commissioned from her mother. She captivated the prince's attention, and as she was about to depart, the prince halted her. Young lady, may I inquire about your name? He asked. Alamma, she replied. Are you a resident of this village? The prince inquired further. Yes, I am, she confirmed. And then, why aren't you involved in this event? Well, I adhere to my principles. I've always believed that my future husband will find me and ask me traditionally to be his partner. I don't feel the need to compete to be chosen, Olama explained. The prince found her response impressive. Are you educated? The prince further inquired. I only have a secondary school certificate, but I consider myself self-learned. Since my widowed mother couldn't afford to further my education, I took it upon myself to educate through reading. Therefore, I would consider myself as self-learned. I am a voracious reader, and I believe I can rival those who have received formal education in the higher institutions, Olama replied. The prince was deeply impressed by Olama's composure, eloquence, and humble demeanor as she responded to him. Would you do me the honor of being my partner? He pleaded. 
The villagers were astonished. Olama, taken aback but greatly impressed by the gesture of the esteemed crown prince, accepted his proposal. The prince and the princesses were overjoyed. I have found my queen, the prince proclaimed to all present. He commanded the music to begin. The community rejoiced, knowing that their prince would soon be crowned king. However, the other maidens, who had put in considerable efforts, felt disheartened by the outcome. Finally, the prince was crowned king with his wife seated beside him. And this is where the story comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, kindly drop your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for clicking to watch. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I encourage you all to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so that you would not miss any of our future uploads. Your support means the world to us. So please like and share our videos and do not hesitate to leave your thoughts and feedback in the comment section, but please respectfully. Together, let's continue to grow and foster a vibrant community around our shared passion for film and entertainment. Thank you all for your continuous support. See you all in the next episode.